Hello, this is Sal. In today's video, I will be explaining in a very easy way how to create an, uh, the SSS connection on a router. And as you can see in this network, we have the admin PC, nothing configured yet on the PC. We will configure that, uh, give it a static IP address. And on the router, also nothing. I will be configuring the router's name, host name, and I'll name it router1. I'll show you that. And then I will open the port connecting the router to the switch. And so the light here, the port is still down, and I'll open it. So let's start with the PC and give it the static IP address of 172.16.1.10. And the subnet mask of uh, slash 24 to 255 .255 And the default gateway for the PC, it is uh, this side of the router on this port of 172 or this interface of 172.16.1.1. Now we configured the PC. We go back to the PC and we type this command IP config and showing us what we configured for the IP address of 172.16.1.10, the subnet mask and the default gateway. Now going back to the router, hit enable first and then configure terminal. So we want to configure this terminal. First, we will start with the host name. And I will name it simply router and give it number one. Now, uh, for the IP address for the gig, gigabit Ethernet 00, 00 on this side. So first, we will go to the interface, interface of uh, gig uh, bit 0 slash 0 and the IP address of 172.16.1.1 and the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 Now we are not done yet, we need to open the port, the port is still down, we type uh, no shut now, and as you can see, the light turned from red to green, or still a uh, little orange there. And it's telling us here that the line protocol on the interface of Gigabit Ethernet 00, zero changed st state to up. It was down. And now, exit from here. Let me run this command, show run. And as you can see, for the interface gigabit ethernet 00, zero it is to the IP address and the duplex is configured for auto and the speed for the port for auto and we have another uh, interface but it's not connected to any device now uh, I will go back to the router and uh, Simply type encrypt. We want to encrypt all plain text passwords. Configure by going to the service. And here we have options for the password encryption. So just type password encryption. And any password that we will configure in the router, it will be encrypted. And I need to configure a domain because we want to configure router one to accept the SSS connection from the admin PC or for the domain name. I choose the name uh, cisco.com. And now we need to generate 1024 bit keys for the SSS con uh, configuration. So, key generate RSA and here I'll uh, 
to the 1024 bits and hit enter. Now it's generating the RS key. RSA keys and keys will be non exportable. Now we want also to configure the router to block anyone for three minutes who fails to log in after four attempts within two minutes period. So the command will go like this login. Here we have the first option to block for. What we want to block for uh, the time here is giving us uh, the time in seconds we want to block it for three minutes three minutes in seconds three uh, 60 seconds 180 question mark and attempts how many attempts uh, let's choose uh, four attempts and then within within two minutes, uh, which is 120 seconds, because it's giving us the period in seconds. Now, let's configure the, before doing that, uh, like, let's configure uh, the enable password, configure terminal, enable, password, and let me choose the password of Cisco for this example. And a username, I'll call this username admin, and I'll give him this admin the privilege, the highest privilege of 15, and the password of also admin. Just, you know, simple uh, username and simple password just uh, for this example. And another user, or I'll do this later in the video, but let's go with this, uh, just with the admin for now. Now let's uh, configure the BTY lines for SSH access and use the local user profile for authentication. Now line, we can uh, configure auxiliary line or the console line, or TTY line for terminal controller, or BTY line for virtual uh, terminal. But for this example, we want the BTY line, and uh, this, uh, first line will zero. Now let's take them all, all the lines. There are 16 lines, from zero to 15. Uh, the transport input we want only to accept the SS connection on this router for this example. And for login, local. Exit. And exit here. So let's go back to the PC and establish an SS connection. Let's type this SSH and just hit enter just to show you the syntax for it. Lots of people, and I was one of them actually, I always, or when I first started to learn, you know, networking, that this is number one. This is not number one, this is L. The letter L is stands for link. So establish a uh, secure shell link using this username, and this is the target. The target, the network device you want to SSH to, or to establish an SS connection to. So it is not one, this is link, you know. So let's SSH space dash the letter L. What is the username we configured, which was admin. And we want our target here in this example is 172.16.1.1. So we type in here 172.16.1.1, hit enter, asking for the password. We are connecting to this Target. We are establishing an SS connection to the router with the admin as a username. What we configured the admin's username, uh, the password, it was admin. So we enter here admin and we are in. And because the admin, he took the privilege of uh, 15, which is the highest privilege that he is in control for this device. He can go anywhere and configure anything on the router. 
So uh, he did not uh, need to go through uh, typing in the enable password. It took him directly from uh, without entering the enable password. So now to make this clearer, I will configure another user configure terminal and I will call him a uh, user name. Let me call him user one and with the password of also user one and then hit enter exit from here and if I run this command show run pipe now include user and as you can see here is showing us the username for admin and he has a highest privilege with 15 and the password number seven is encrypted and the password we configured was admin now it is it's uh, encrypted and even for the user one because the first command we gave this router that any a password will be configured on this router to be encrypted so for this user also user one it was also encrypted and we configured also the enable password for this router to be as of uh, Cisco now let's uh, uh, try an exit from here and try to establish another uh, SS connection with uh, the router SSH dash link and the user one as the user and the target is the router of 172.16.1.1 enter and the password for user one it was user one user one and when I hit enable here it will ask me for the enable password which we configured at the beginning of this uh, as Cisco and we are in as user one but when we try to establish the SSH connection using the admin because he has the highest privilege it we it did not prompt us to enter the, the enable password into the router I hope you learned something from this uh, simple short video if you have any questions please send me a message and if you have any ideas for videos you want me to explain uh, you know just uh, write me a message or an email and I will be gladly doing it if you like this video and if you learn something please uh, subscribe to my channel and give me the thumb up and I'll see you very soon in my next video have a nice day